Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the movie It. And I'm going to take a look at some of the interesting acting choices, staging choices, some contrasty visuals, just in general some interesting stuff that you may or may not be able to use in your shop. And let's get right into this. Found it. Isn't it summer vacation? I would think you'd be ready to take a break from the books. Oh, I like it in here. So what I thought was kind of neat was the introduction of the other character in the scene. So you can see him, he's looking out, and then you can see how the book comes in. And I love this take here. You got him reacting right away to this slam. Looks here. Has a little moment, like, oh, wait, kind of wakes up, kind of looks into the lens there, and then looks at her. And it's such an interesting moment here. Bam. So for me, it's this if you have a shot, you have your character, and your character can do whatever, right? It could be looking out the window here, just like him, or he could be reading something, or she could be drawing, or, or doing something, whatever the action is that the character is doing. And then you could have an interesting intro by either a slam here or putting down a bottle or whatever you want to do. Some interesting object that comes in, bam, that creates a reaction in this character. And then you have interesting intro for another character. I think that would be an interesting setup, an interesting contrasty, surprising beginning of a shot. That could be a breakup of an intense stare or a character thinking, whatever the character is doing. And then you got that bam, that contrasting move with sound and visuals where the character can wake up or whatever acting you want to put in there. But I think that could be an interesting beginning of a shot. This next sequence is interesting to me because of the lack of movement. So let's play the sequence out first. Aren't you forgetting something? So the interesting part to me was the mother. As he walks up towards her, clearly not happy about this. I love how she kind of holds this pose here. She's just kind of stopping her business and she waits. Now, of course, given her size, she can't really move as much, right? But I thought that was really interesting how she kind of waits. It's just this very simple head move. Now this in animation would probably look like it was broken. <laughs> it's like some IK head where the rest of the body is not moving. But I like this idea of a character kind of being obnoxious, I wouldn't say mean, but it's kind of just annoying how she commands the kid and barely moves. They like, come on, give me a kiss. And he has to do all the work and then she's pleased. It's, again, it's, for me, it's interesting contrast of more movement, less movement, and the relationship between these two characters. And I like her little smile at the end that she's pleased. It's like, yeah, that's it. And of course, these guys think it's the best thing ever. And I love his little reaction there. Next up is this little cute exchange between these two characters. So again, let's take a look. Let's take Corbin from Search Class. Uh, yeah. You too, Beverly. Hang tough, new kid on the block. <laughs> Please don't go, girl. That's, that's the name of another new kids on the block. So this is a long sequence for just one little thing that I wanted to point out. I mean, there's the rest that's really cute as well. What's cute to me, first of all, is how this character, everything's cut off so you can just focus on his eyes. He's completely mesmerized by her. It's a cute little exchange, kind of reveals, which is also cute. Open mouth. He's completely transfixed. It's a magical creature in front of him. It's a cute little exchange. So as we skip to this here, what I like about this is that as he continues with his self-analysis, you have this here. This last shot, what I like is this. You got the headphones hanging and dragging, which is almost kind of, I wouldn't say symbolizing his defeat, but it's kind of like dragging behind him. It's like, it's, it's almost a bit of a accent to his situation where like, ah, once again, I made a fool out of myself. And you got this little sad headphone thing trailing. But as a whole, I thought it was an interesting visual. It could be interesting to animate as well if you had this little prop dragging. 
So it's a simple thing. Again, it's nothing huge in the sequence, but it kind of stood out to me as a cute little extra moment and a cool visual of him holding this and trying to push the bike and just having the little sad little headphones drag behind him. And this last sequence I want to talk about, this is more about contrast. I'm always hugely in favor of contrast in your shots be it a big performance going into something small or small performance into something big or contrasty characters scale wise, one big, one small or old and young. It's just more interesting when there's more contrast in a shot. And this to me in terms of the setup is how the characters react to something and then one by one they do a certain action and one character does something different at the end, which again, it just emphasizes that the difference in the character and it's the contrast in the scene. So let's take a look at it first. We have to help him. We should? Yes. So what I like about this, as you can see, they all realize that their friends or their friend, that someone is in danger. They're not their friend just yet, but she decides, all right, let's go. We have to go right now. They all agree. Let's do this. And she drops the bike. He drops the bike. See that they all drop their stuff and they immediately go. Whereas he stays put, he goes, wait, wait, it's a new bike. I just want to put this here and then I'm leaving. And it's also in his movement where they all just kind of run. You can see he just spooking it. They're all, they're all running and going, let's go, let's go. And he has this thing of, okay, let me first take care of this bike. And you have those small little steps. He's not full on running and only towards the end he gets going. But it's a cool little moment how he puts that bike down and starts running. Little steps there and and then he goes. So all in all, interesting little bits. Again, I'm huge in favor of contrast, but there's some good stuff with a small kid and the bigger mother where you have small movements, big movements, um, handling of props, the timing of it. Everybody lets them, lets the bikes go and runs. One person stays behind, is a bit more careful. There's interesting little moments throughout the movie that I liked and that I'm gonna take out and maybe use in a shot that I'm doing at home or something maybe at work. But if you can, try to pay attention to those little moments in a movie and it's kind of potentially annoying to watch that with someone where you constantly go, stop it, I gotta pause it, take some notes and analyze this. But to me, that's the fun of it and it's interesting homework per se. Uh, and I hope that that was helpful to you. If you have any other scenes in the movie that you thought that was really cool, mention that in the comments. I wanna see what other people think. And if you watch until the very end, thank you very much.